So I said, let there be light. And there was light. Don't go away. Hey everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And yes, indeed, I did say let there be light. And there is light. You see, as you start to get older, the eyeballs become a real issue. And, you know, I, I've, I've talked about visors. I've got this one, and I've got these guys and stuff. And they're fantastic. Not only are they magnifying, they're lighted, but the lights are kind of lame. And even still, as I'm surrounded by lights, I got a light here, light here, light here, light there, light there, light there, light there, light there, light there, and two lights over there, okay? So I'm surrounded by light, but yet I still feel as if I'm working in some kind of a shadow down here. And it really makes it difficult. So when I was uh, approached by a company called BenQ, B-E-N-Q, and asked if I wanted to try out one of their desk lights, I said, sure, send it on over. And this lamp is expensive. It's up in the $200 range. And so they're very, very proud of their lamp. But I gotta be honest with you, uh, I'd rather shoot myself in the face than spend $200 on a desk lamp. Now, I don't skimp on my gadgets. So if you give me a $200 worthwhile lamp, I would do that, but generally speaking, there's no way in hell I would spend that money, which means the expectation is gonna be very, very high for this lamp. They're, they're, the, the bar is, is set, okay? So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. So this got here quickly, it's in a nice box. It's got a carry handle that's actually offset to balance the weight of the, the stuff inside which, you know, I, I thought it all came in very nicely. I, I, I was very pleased with that. And like I said, it just makes me feel like they care about their product. All right, so we open it up here. And it's nicely packed in some styrofoam, so uh, very heavy, okay? But I guess for a desk lamp, we have to expect that. Especially one that has an articulating arm because we don't want it falling over all the time. All right, so look, very nice, sturdily packed, no damage. Uh, nice, well, they gave it a ton of room. Got our little manual here. It's got a quick start guide, I'm sure the rest of the details in it. Uh, power supply, I assume. Yep. I assume that they made it this way so that they can swap this out for different countries. So we've got that. We don't need that box. All right, here's the base. This is why there's so much weight. These things are always really heavy. And this is no, oh, wow, God. You could literally kill somebody with this base. Okay, this thing weighs a ton. Everything you lift up in that box, it's all in here. Okay, beautiful little machined area. Nice looking, a lot of rubber feet to it. Very, very heavy. Wow, man, you just don't even know, okay? Don't even know. All right, now here is the big dog itself. Wow, okay, right now I'm Seeing things I like, it's a beautiful design. But I also see a beautiful fabric cord. Wow, okay, this is way cooler than I expected. Okay, let's get rid of this thing. Let's try and slip this down here somewhere. Okay, we do have a, a negative. Right off the bat, we have a negative, and I'll tell you what it is. It's this giant thing right here. Okay, now it's not a negative of BenQ and it's not a negative of this lamp. 
it's it's not a, really a negative. It's something that doesn't work well for me. This is going to have to take up real estate in my workspace, and I don't like that. But BenQ does not saddle you to this thing. They make a stand version, and they make a clamp version like all the lamps that I already have in here. Uh, this just happens to be the one they sent me. I, I didn't even think to specify that I would prefer a, a clamp one. Um, so it's nothing that they did, and it's nothing wrong with the product. If you're going to put this on the desk, because this is actually almost a piece of art. And so if you're going to put this on this desk, this is actually beautiful. And you could even put things on here. In fact, I might make a little tray here that I could put down and put stuff in at the base of my lamp. I don't know, I gotta see how it all goes together. Uh, but so you can do stuff with this, but I'm gonna definitely have to do some uh, house cleaning to, to make this work out for me. So yeah, be that as it may. Okay, so it, it's a negative. But then let's move over to this power cord. All right, first of all, it seems to be a very nice length. You know, you could always complain about this and say, hey, the cord could be longer. But in the scheme of things, this is one of the longest cords I've seen to come with a lamp like this. Very nice and, and fabric wrapped. Really, really nice. Okay, super nice. All right, so how does this thing come out of here? Oh, two bags, okay. So we slide this off of here. But uh, yeah, I'm really hopeful that this helps with my vision and my eyeballs and stuff because it's really always a challenge, especially, you know, I'm doing small stuff when you get with these Hot Wheels and Matchboxes. All right, so we can put that down there. Pick this back up. Boy, this is, this is really attractive. And uh, very, very nice looking. But I, I guess based on the market that they started in, you know, desk lamps and stuff, um, I guess you would want something nice. All right, wow, this is nice. Okay, let's put that on here. Might need to be loosened up first. No, just needs to be pushed on there. Almost broke it, okay, there we go. Now there's a little screw here, just pops on there like that. Wow. Okay, I'm seeing some really cool stuff about this lamp here. So it presses on, and right down here there's a little screw to uh, tighten it up so this won't be lifting up and off of here. But look how long these arms are and how everything's integral. Wow, look at the, am I at uh, full range? Yeah, that must be full range. Wow, <laughs> wow, I feel like it's like a light in a dentist's office. Look at that. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Okay, really, really nice. And uh, I haven't seen it, but oh yeah, this must be a level control for how bright or how dim this is, which is a really nice touch. Wow. Okay. Uh, BenQ, your lamp is beautiful. Okay, seriously. I mean, this thing is the Guggenheim of, of lights. It is spectacular. Really sturdy. And I love the Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look how far out I can get that to lean. Wow, that's pretty cool. 
Okay, so far, so far, so good. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. Okay. It's full tilt. So you can aim this exactly where you need it. All right. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. All right, let's peek through here. Okay. Beautiful at this point. I mean, really spectacular, beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wait and go away for uh, 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to clean up my desk here and I'm going to put this somewhere, probably up over here in this corner here. Um, I don't know yet, all right? I'll have to figure that out. I'm not looking forward to that part of it, but I'm going to go ahead and get this put on the table and plugged in, but I will not turn it on until we're back together, okay? So, all right, I'm back. Here, here it is, okay? I don't know if this is where it's going to permanently reside yet, I may put it in a different location. See, I could, I could slide it back if I wanted to because it can still be squared up to my work surface. So I have a lot of options. Okay, so not only does it have the ability to adjust its brightness, it also adjust its warmth okay so you can color you can match the warmth to what works best for you this metal ring is your on and off switch and if you touch it and let go you'll activate the light if you touch it and hold it you'll activate what's called the e-reading light which is made to be able to have your laptop right here or your computer or your tablet and it gives you lighting without a bunch of glare and other issues that you might have otherwise. This is for your uh, um, brightness. And if you push and turn it, you, uh, you can adjust the, the color temperature. Okay? So let's go ahead and just see if it comes on. Wow. Okay. First, uh, first observation, beautiful light. Um, I mean, here. I, th that is so much easier for me to read. And, and just to see everything on my desk. Wow. Okay, so really great. I don't even know where that's set at yet. So let's try the, the knob here. Okay, let's see how low we can go. Okay, that looks about like its lowest setting, all right? Which is still really good. But I think for me... Okay, that's its brightest setting. And that's where I'm going to have it, because that is really great for me. Man, that is fantastic. I cannot... The, these lights here... These are Ikea lights. They've got like little 40 watt bulbs in them. That's why I've got like 80 of them up here. Um, man, wow. Every, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up, so you can watch me do this and uh, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna turn on my camera on my phone here and let's turn this off. Okay, so let's go to video. Okay, so. We're videotaping. You can see me. Hello. Hello. Okay. See that? Sync? All right. So here's my workspace. Not bad, right? Not terrible. Could be better. Could be worse. But watch now. Now look at it. Okay. Same thing. Look at that, I can read the labels on the paint jars. I can see where stuff is at. Look at the, look how clear that is. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. And now let's, uh, 
I don't know what the e-reading thing is, so let's uh, touch and hold the metal ring to activate e-reading mode. The e-reading mode indicator light will light up. That's a little light up here. Yeah, there it is, okay. So this got a little green light around it. Oh, I see what it's doing. Okay, this is really cool. Um, I still have a really good lighting down here, but what it's doing is it's lighting up over here, like so. And it kind of turned off or dimmed the ones in the center here. So you're not getting a bunch of bouncy bouncy right here in the middle here. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, turn the e-reading off. Oh, just turn the brightness knob and it goes away. It protects your eyes by adjusting the lamp's brightness according to the ambient lighting condition automatically and optimizing the... Oh, so that's a whole different feature. It will automatically adjust the brightness and the color range um, based on what's around you in the room. Okay, so we've done the brightness, so now let's do the color temperature. And I guess I, I push it and turn it. Oh, look at that. It absolutely cool, warm. I like that. That's really nice. Wow. Okay. I'm going to rock this thing for the next couple weeks, and then I'm going to come back and wrap this video up with my final observations and recommendations. But I have to tell you, right now, this thing is pretty amazing. So let's say goodbye for now, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I'm ready to tell you my honest opinion about this light by BenEQ. But first, let me tell you something. This is kind of funny that in the middle of testing this, this came up. Um, I actually got called out on my review of the Ring Alarm. Um, somebody posted some idiotic post about uh, Ring is going around paying uh, YouTubers to review and give positive reviews of their product and when I post my receipt and telling people not to be fooled. Well, I quickly told him, I'm not going to play your stupid little games and I'm not posting my receipt. Um, I, I'm very honest with you guys, okay? I never uh, said anything on the Ring Alarm that isn't true. They didn't provide me anything. I bought mine at Costco. Uh, never would tell you anything that uh, I didn't like about it or, you know, I, I would never make anything up. I told you up front, BenEQ sent me this lamp, this $200 lamp for free. But I also told you my rules for reviewing this. And one is that I'm going to post an honest review, which I'm going to do here. So... Uh, I just thought it was funny that that came up, but I guess haters are always going to hate, and, you know, there's always the conspiracy theorists out there. Anyhow, so I've had a chance to have this lamp on my desk for a while, and I have to tell you, I love it to death, okay? I don't know if it's my choice of light bulbs in these other lights or whatever it is, but I always feel like I'm working in, in like a tunnel or something like that. And it's really difficult for me with my older eyes to see things. Um, even with my, my two visors, both of my visors have lights on them, okay? This has got a little LED light here. And then these ones have little LED lights here that I can aim. But even that's not enough really for me. This is a whole new ball game for me and the color uh the ability to change the color range of this is a big deal because i like this this bright clean light okay some people might want it a uh, tamer like if you look back up in here see how it's kind of warm feeling okay as opposed to right here how it's kind of cool feeling this is what i prefer to have in my workspace and so i love that i can adjust this so the bottom line is that this is not only very, very highly functional 
it's, it's a beautiful lamp. Anybody would be pleased to have this sitting on their desk, whether it's just your computer desk or your scrapbooking desk or your model making desk, whatever. Anybody would love having this, okay? Now, I, I told you right up front that $200 price tag was a big red flag for me because I would never spend $200 unless you can convince me. They've convinced me, if, if this ever were to be destroyed, my dog jumped up here and ate it or whatever, um, I would probably replace this with a brand new one. Now, again, I'm not really thrilled with having it sitting here on my desk, on, on, a, on a pedestal like it is, but that's just the way it came, you know, I, I didn't specify I'd rather have this, that, or the next thing, but keep in mind they do have a floor standing lamp and one that will clamp to your table um, so you don't have to have this here. But as it stands, I'm not really losing any turf because I have stuff all over the base. So the stuff that would have been right there is now just on top of the base. So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but I really do like it. I think it's worth every penny. Um, now, young whippersnapper in a room on the sunny side of their house, all the light in the world. Maybe this isn't for you, but for an older guy like me, I'm in what I, that's the bat cave up here, okay? I've got these blackout drapes up here because this is Nevada, and this is a sun-facing room, and it gets raging hot here in the middle of the summer, so I've got all these blackout drapes that I never open, um, it's very, the walls are this dark maroon. It's a really dark room. And with my old eyes, this is just awesome. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. 200 bucks though, okay? But think of the wear and tear on your eyes. And, and I just can't put into words the brightness that I'm getting down here, okay? It's fantastic, and I love it. Highly recommend this lamp. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the little bell, and you'll be notified anytime I release a new video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and it doesn't have to just be about this lamp. It can be on anything that you want to talk about. Okay, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. I'm going to go ahead and leave you and hope that you have an amazing, beautiful, bright, happy, glorious day. And until next time, be good.